Now it's no secret that bikes can go super fast, especially in a straight line, but more impressive to me is watching someone tame one of these things at a snail's pace. So in this video, if you're someone who is always in a particular place where you need to lane filter or you're in tight spaces or a parking lot, this is the video for you where I'm gonna show you how to ride one of these things slowly. Alrighty, so first thing you wanna do is obviously mount up on your bike, get any notions out of your head of being afraid. We're gonna take this step by step. And I'm assuming before we start doing slow speed stuff, you guys are comfortable at riding your bike because you're gonna to wanna to get familiar with your clutch here. So you can see with this camera here, hopefully, what I'm doing with my clutch. But depending on how powerful your bike is, obviously gonna depend on how fast it rolls under its own power. So once you've got it rolling, start getting used to pressing your back brake. So I'm implementing my back brake here and you'll get to a point where you'll feel the bike like really start to judder. That's obviously just before it's about to stall and get used to using your back brake because you want to drag it. So you want to get used to dragging your back brake in a controlled manner and not panicking and understanding how it feels to drag it rather than push it down all the way. So we've got to that point, we can drag our brake, roll around in circles all day, clutch in, clutch out, clutch in, clutch out. So that's like level one of riding slow speed. To kick it up a notch to level two, what you want to do is all the things I just said, but at the same time. So you want to get used to dragging your rear brake and riding your clutch at the same time. Basically, when you drag your rear brake, it slows the back wheel down and stabilizes it, believe it or not. And using your clutch and throttle, the gyroscopic effect of your engine is gonna counterplay you leaning at slow angles. Kind of like when you're moving down the road, the faster you go, the easier it is to stand up. Same effect happens with the internals of your engine. So what we're gonna do, use some throttle, ride the clutch, scrub the back brake. Now this is where it's gonna take practice because most people to start with are gonna be scared of giving it some gas and riding the clutch. And you have to understand that motorcycle clutches are wet clutches. They are designed to be, your clutches are designed to be ridden. So ride the clutch, put it halfway as I'm doing now, get it in between and give it some gas. It's not gonna go any faster because you're not fully engaging the bike. You're keeping it halfway. So if I'm completely disengaged, I can rev. As I start letting out the clutch, it's gonna start rolling. So you wanna find that middle ground. So you're in that middle ground, that friction zone, as we are now, and at the same time, I'm scrubbing my back brake, that's what's slowing me down. And then when we add some throttle, notice the engine will pick up. See, I'm revving that quite loud for you guys, but I don't really go much faster. So once it's doing this, I dictate the speed by how fast or slow I let out the clutch. And I'm talking, these are micro increments. So if I slowly, slowly let the clutch out, Look how slow we move. And it feels way more stable than if I did it with no clutch. If I completely pulled the clutch in, didn't have my back brake on, there's no power to the bike, see? Then it's just gonna keep going slower until I want to put my feet down. And also, you're gonna have a favorite side. You're always gonna have like a dominant side. Mine is going to the right, so you'll notice when I go to the left, I'm not as strong, which I need to practice this myself. But same principle stands. Ride the clutch, give it throttle, rub the back brake. and look where you're going, really use your body language to help you, because as you should know by now on bikes, where you look is where you're gonna go, and then really start to give it some counterbalance. So we're just gonna keep practicing that as much as we can, and as I said at the beginning, this comes handy in situations when you're lane filtering, because if you're stuck between wing mirrors and you wanna get through, you don't wanna do the clutching, wobble, knock someone's wing mirror, you see that too often. So just practice the whole friction engage thing and really play with the back brake on this then you can really find out how slow you can go once you get to a point where you have to wobble your bars then you know that's pretty much your limit so we're going pretty slow i mean here there's a little bit of wobble if i slow right down now we're pretty much stopping now it's pretty much me having to give it a bit of that i really have to counterbalance but you get the idea if that was going through traffic and i needed to just stop roll through and then get through well there you have it guys nothing too radical very short video just remember at all times get used to scrubbing this thing and riding the clutch and you will be a-okay if you do have any better suggestions in the comments of what to do and you're more experienced than i am feel free to put them in there and help somebody out i am by no means an expert i'm just a dude with a camera so yeah i will put somewhere up here 
If there's any video topics you want me to cover, just let me know and I'll do my best to do those topics. That being said, get outside, practice, and get better at slow maneuvers because there's nothing worse than seeing someone on something like a 200 horsepower motorcycle and they can't even go less than 30 kilometers or 20 miles an hour. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Adios, bye bye from me, Mrs. Tube over there, who is going to wave back. Yes, she is. See you guys next time. There you are. Bye bye.